Boom. What's up, gents and ladies? Uh, this is a video for my card show pickups from about a month ago. Like I said, I'm just burning the midnight oil um, uh, to get through some of these videos. I had like stacks and stacks of stuff. I'm almost done. So my content will be all caught up with stuff I want to show on camera. But I uh, hung out with uh, Sean Stealing Second uh, about three weeks ago now, I guess. And this, this is what I picked up at the show. I had to be careful because I told Sean I'm going to Pittsburgh. we we'll hang out with Bob and his family. So I can't blow a bunch of money. So I think I spent like 10 bucks total here. Might even been eight. So this is what I got for $8. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to kind of go through this quickly. I got a uh, Godzilla, Hideki Matsui. Masahiro Tanaka. I, bought, I think I bought the red. These are I got all these cards for ten cents. By the way, these are all ten cents. There's a Tanaka. I love that card. Here's a. Uh, is this Bowman's best? I think yeah, Bowman's best Tanaka. There you go. Another Tanaka right here. I love these Inception cards. They're so I mean, it's a product that I can't afford to break. And even if I wanted to, I don't want. I, even if I could. I wouldn't want to because 95% of the time you get stuff you don't want. I just don't want to deal with that. Picked up a base Andre Dawson. Got one of those pop-ups. I love this pop-up. I think uh, John Mangini's been showing some of these cards on his channel not too long ago. It's kind of funny because before I even saw that he was showing these uh, 80s pop-ups, uh, I, I bought some three or four weeks ago. So, Or maybe, not, maybe about three weeks ago, not four weeks. Got a Kurt Suzuki. MAGA 2020, <laughs> when he went, uh, went to uh, the White House a couple months ago. Then we have the Jojima. This is, a, I found out what this was. This is a Holiday Inn Upper Deck release, because I have a Greg Maddox that's just like this, and I'm like, where did this come from? I have no idea. It doesn't say anything on here, but it's a 60-card 60, 60 set, and it's Holiday Inn. This uh, you Darvish. I don't know if this was a variation or what. I don't know if I didn't have this one. It's weird. I didn't have it. Then we got another you Darvish with the Cubs on the, I think this is Archives. Is that right? I believe. Yeah, Archives. So they got that one. And then this is one of the uh, Snowflake Holiday Editions. This is, does, it's not the metallic or anything. And this is a blue. I think I had the black. And I've talked about this in a previous video about there's like, Three, at least three variations, I think, of that, possibly. Another Andre Dawson on the Stadium Club. This is like a kind of a Cubs heavy a video. Another Andre Dawson. I think what happened is I had so many Andre Dawsons that I think one day I was like, oh, these are all doubles. And I was moving the cards around, and I think I ended up giving them to somebody or trading them or whatever. I put them in a care package and I just gave away almost all my Andre Dawson cards. I don't know where they went. I, I probably had like 10 or 15 nine pocket sheets for them front and back. So however many that is in cards. And now I have like four. So I think I must've threw them, not threw them away, but must've traded them or gave them away. I, I can't find them all. Another Andre Dawson right here. I think this is like greats of the game or something. Fleer greats. Then we got a U Darvish pink prism. Another U Darvish chrome with a rookie cup. Man, I'm going to buy those cards for 10 cents all day long. I mean, because usually I could use those as a trade for somebody. Or I just have an additional one. I have no problem. I did not have this Alan Aginter. Another U Darvish here with a stadium club. It's a good looking card. And then last, I'll close it out on this, I think, silver pack right here from the 1987 design. Love that card. So those I got all for 10 cents. Here's what I got for, I believe, these were a quarter a piece. So I got this right here. This is a the Chrome rookie card of uh, uh, Reese Hoskins. It looks like it's a great shape. I mean, Reese Hoskins is the player I think he is. I mean, that might be a good card to hold on to. Here's a um, revolution of Reese Hoskins from Panini. And then this is a Francisco Lindor numbered out of 349 All-Stars. 
If you can look at the bottom there, it kind of shows you that it's numbered. But there it is. It's a cracked ice looking. I don't know about cracked ice, but it has like a very whimsical look. The back's kind of cool too. It has a has a 80, very 80s look to the back. But there you have that. And I think this is a short print of a John Smoltz. I'm a big Smoltzy fan. I had never seen that card. So, again, for a quarter, I'll pick it up. I picked this card up. There's a couple other good players on here, but really I just got it for the Frank Thomas. You know, Frank Thomas. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a 150 gold stamp on there too. Huh. Yeah, for a quarter, I'll be your Huckleberry. So pick that up. Then I got this out of 99, Francisco Lindor out of, I think, Master, what is this? I don't even know, Museum Collection. And this is out of 99. You see there, what number is it? Number 23. So there you have the Francisco Lindor. Another Reese Hoskins. Oh, this is a rookie card. Now the uh, Chrome from the what, 84 design. 83, I mean. I love it. Love this card. It's a really cool. It's a rookie card. It's another one, I think, from the pull from the silver packs, I think. I could be wrong, but there you go. This is uh, one of his, I think, I don't know if it's considered a rookie card or not, or if, if it is a rookie card. I think it's like the like a rookie debut card. But again, for a quarter, Mr. Smiles, good looking card. And then last but certainly not least, this is a rookie card of a guy I just have just really high hopes for. I didn't have it. It has a green, green hue, green tint to the card, which I love. Keston Hira, rookie card from uh, Panini. Is it Status? So let me do if you can see that. On there. So there's that. So guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. So you you're looking at five bucks here, maybe eight bucks, something like that. It was very reasonable. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'd like to say again, thank you to um, the Beach Grove Card Show who put on the show. That's always a good time here in Indiana once a month. Hopefully, once things get back to normal, we'll be able to go again. Maybe in uh, April, but probably more than likely May, and then I hope for sure by June at the latest. Again, thanks to Sean Stealing Second for hanging out with me. He's a great guy. I'm getting ready to show on the next video uh, our box break results uh, that I did. So, anyways, till next time, peace, love, and a little bit of hair grease. And I'm out.